between the face and feet. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Up some more. Perfect. Right there. Swing her up. Okay. The phone call came in uh, through our working group um, that was looking at the, uh, the effects of the safety rule changes back in 2003. During our conversations, we were doing more brainstorming as to different ideas of what, where we could go with future development of maybe different equipment or different methods. And that's where one of our uh, team members, Grant Morgan, uh, who was, uh, who's since retired, uh, came up with the idea of using the feller buncher, but in reverse, where the feller buncher cuts a tree and then drops it. Well, of course, we want to pick up the pole and then set it in the hole. So in that case, we kind of explored the idea. We were able to convince forestry in lending us a unit for field trials. And we did those out in Hanover TS in 2004. It was a small unit though, but we were able to successfully stand up a pole and set it in the hole uh, with using their feller buncher. We were trying to use that uh, uh, marketing tactic that this would revolutionize the uh, utility industry for setting poles in a safe manner. Uh, because up until now, we require you know, six or seven people to set a pole safely. And what we want to do is remove any hazards to the individuals at the butt of the pole because we don't have barriers in place that we have in distribution. Our first uh, use of it officially was at the plowing match in, uh, in August where uh, we set uh, approximately 40 poles a deadline, and that gave the operator some experience with, uh, with using the unit, and uh, people uh, some exposure uh, of the unit to, uh, to individuals as well. New Liskert, uh, after that, used the unit uh, in a live line setting, and they set approximately 70 poles live line. Then, fortunately, we were able to uh, have a, a transmission job at Wallace TS, for a refurbishment there. They set uh, 22 poles, live line, in 230. The benefits are definitely improved uh, safety, and of course the productivity is incredible. At one point in New Liskert, I think they were setting uh, nine poles a day uh, over that period. This is a breakthrough for the utility industry. This device is something that uh, the utility industry is looking for. Hydro One has absolutely been at the forefront of this in, in developing this technology. And yes, we are at the forefront of, uh, of this uh, new method of installing poles live line. When we set the first pole with the, with the claw, we, we found that it was awkward for the uh, lineman who was, uh, or the UTS, who was talking to the operator of the machine because uh, he was the machine operator, had to remove his hands to talk on the hydro radio. We uh, went out and got a hands-free headset where the operator and the fella doing the watching for clearances and directing of the operator, and it made life so much better for the two of them, uh, communications and it didn't break the operator's concentration. It's part of that machine now to make that job go better. We're good. How are we looking, uh, the butt on the ground there? All right, Mark, you ready to uh, drop this pole? Yes, sir. Okay, let her go. Gotcha. Composite poles in Hydro One, we first started looking at that in 2006. The manufacturers started knocking on their doors with uh, different types of uh, composite poles. We decided in early 2006 to, uh, to pilot on one firm in particular that seemed to be close to what we had previously in steel poles. And this manufacturer provided a modular type of uh, design. One of the biggest benefits for us is uh, in woodpecker locations and that's where we started uh, pushing the composite poles for field trials or locations that we know uh, are being dam uh, damaged badly by, uh, by the woodpeckers. So overall we've installed uh, roughly 150 poles across the province anywhere from 40 foot up to a 90 foot but for the majority part other than the transmission side on the distribution side it has been uh, 
regard towards reliability, plus issues that we're having with wood poles in, uh, in certain cases where we've got premature uh, deterioration and we, we want to ensure that we maintain the reliability. The manufacturer that we finally did choose was RS Technologies who are located uh, just outside of Windsor, which was an added benefit. It's an Ontario uh, manufacturer uh, located in our backyard. RS Technology is proud to be Hydro One's selected partner with composite poles for the use in grid infrastructure for the safe, reliable and environmentally responsible power delivery to Ontario's residents and businesses. Embrace the technology and is an industry leader uh, in the world in terms of its use of composite technology to really deliver the benefits to their own utility and to its customers. Being a hollow structure, it is uh, lightweight than the traditional incumbents of wood, steel and concrete which means it's more accessible, you can cart it around easier, higher payloads on trucks. Expected service life of 80 years on average is much longer than the traditional materials as well, and it's certainly less maintenance uh, required. So there are long-term savings to the use of the pole. We're here today to replace a wooden pole that was installed less than six months ago due to woodpecker damage on the original wood pole and we are changing this one out for a new composite style pole, 45 foot. This uh, location is optimal for a composite style pole due to the damage by woodpeckers, um, as well as a swamped, a fairly swamped area. Composite poles are perfect for anything out of the ordinary of just a regular dirt hole. Zone 3A has a large woodpecker damage um, through it, the Minden area and uh, the Peterborough area, a lot to do with a lot of uh, areas for the woodpeckers to house in and like using our poles to house in as well. If we can eliminate woodpecker damage uh, on poles like this, if we can eliminate any kind of decay, then that will increase any life expectancy of a pole 50 to 100 years, I guess. So we brought the pole over yesterday and, and put it together yesterday and uh, it was nice for the fact that we could trailer it over in the telescopic position so it's shortened up to just the bottom position and all the other cylinders are inside and bolted so you could transport it as one and it was only 30 feet long. So that was good so we didn't have to worry about uh, having a long load permit for a 90 foot wood pole etc. It was easy to get in. We we're going to run into positions where we're going to have a difficult time accessing certain locations if we're going to be setting these composite poles or even a wood pole. So in that factor it was very good for trailing wise. Uh, it's obviously bucket access pole because it is a composite so we won't be able to climb it. The only problem of course in our area is that uh, we fly in a lot of poles on our islands etc. So obviously we're not going to be able to fly it in because we wouldn't be able to transfer conductors and equipment onto that existing pole that we're changing out. It's uh, weight wise it weighs in around 900 kilograms and a comparable 90 foot wood pole is approximately 2700 kilograms. So the weight difference is uh, substantial. And that'll help for equipment again. You won't have to have the bigger equipment for setting it. And accessibility to, to putting in the hole should be easier. Driving at the balance point will be better, et cetera. So it wasn't bad to set up, actually. It took about an hour. And it was just a matter of pulling the sections out of the bottom piece, bringing them out, and then replacing them into the they overlap on the bottom. Each piece overlaps. So you use a hoist system and just bring it up. There's two points here where you would put in a little latching device here and then you'd have a hoist between the two points on either side and pull it together and then it brought this cylinder over top of the existing one that you had here and there's a viewpoint there that you could see for your a location that that was the minimum point you had to be and once you were to that location and it was snug fit here you were set and then you pre-drilled a couple holes here and put a, a line nut that you thread this nut into on either side and that's what holds it together. The good thing about the composite poles is the ability to set live line. We like to keep our customers power on as much as we can, and this is just one addition to that. It's a safety element for our guys. It's also a reliability to our customers that we're not always taking them out of power to do work.